This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. In this video, we're going to examine and modify several HTML attributes. So first, let's open a page which we can change. You'll find this file in the Working Files folder in Chapter 5, and it's named 0502example.html. It has some basic content, and it loads a local version of jQuery. So first, let's locate an element. We'll use this image here because it has several attributes that we can look at. So at the bottom of our file, we can enter a command. Now this will find all the images. In our case, it's just the one. Now we can get or set attributes using jQuery's ATTR command. So let's find the width of the image. Now note if we have more than one image on our page, this jQuery object would hold more than one element. However, the ATTR method can only return one value and so it chooses the first image on the page. Now on its own, this command won't actually do anything. So let's output it to the developer console such as Firebug. And just to make sure we know what we're doing, let's put in a message and save the file. So if we open Firebug and switch to the console tab and refresh the page, you'll see an image width of 330 has been returned. Now the ATTR method also allows us to change that value. So let's set it to 150 pixels. In this case, we wouldn't actually need the quotes, but I'm using them anyway. So we're selecting the image, and just setting the width attribute to 150. Save that. We don't need the console anymore. And refresh. And you can see it goes really narrow and unreadable. Now you can set attributes on any number of elements. So let's change these links in the footer. We'll select all the links on the page. And we'll set the href attribute and we'll choose google.com. If we save that file and hit refresh, so now you'll see these links go to google.com. There we are. And the same with that one. Now we can actually change more than one attribute at a time. And for that, we pass in a JavaScript object like we've done before. Remember, they're separated by a colon and a comma between each property. So let's set the style to red. Save and refresh. And there you see it's still going to google.com, but the text is also gone red. So what if we change our mind and we don't actually want that red style applied? Well, one way is to set it to null. So we'll select all the links again and use the ATTR method and set it to null. If we save that and refresh, they're no longer red. Alternatively, we can use jQuery's remove ATTR method and that works in an identical way. We'll save the file, refresh the page and we'll still see that it's no longer red.